Hey there. Come on in. Hey, so we wanted to get a quick video in today to talk about why we call our practice triune chiropractic. And the true reason is, is that we like to look at the body integratively. And so we look at three distinct and equal parts that lead to anybody's dysfunction or pain or whatever it is they're, they're coming into. There's usually three issues. And that's why we pick the triangle and triune, which means three in one, because it's, in, it's multiple pieces that come together. Uh, to form the you and, and ultimately if those pieces are in balance it will lead to dis disease and dysfunction. So the first part of the triangle I want to explain to you is the physical or the structural stuff. So that's all the, the, the physical aspects and, and we start with the spine. So Hippocrates, he was the founder of modern medicine. He said look to the spine first in disease and in health. And the, real, the reason is, is because the spine protects the nervous system. So if you ever want to think about what's important in the body, what organ systems are important, look to where the bone is. So everyone knows the heart and the lungs are protected by the rib cage. That's pretty protective. But now imagine what the level of protection is of the spinal cord. And then even look at the brain. The brain, if you're looking from a protective standpoint, is the most protected from all of, with all the skull bones. So the reason that that's important is because the nervous system, the brain sits here, sends signals down through the spinal cord and then out through each of these uh, pieces between the bones. Those nerves go to muscles so you can move and they also branch off and those nerves also go to organs like digestion and heart so that it's automatically running you consciously and subconsciously all day long. And so if there is any misalignment, so say you had a neck issue and there's a misalignment there and putting nerve pressure on there, you're affecting the brain's ability to send signals down to those muscles, so you might get muscle spasms. You're also affecting the brain's ability to send messages down through and out the nerves to the organs there. So you may be having some thyroid issues, you may be having sinus issues, etc. So uh, I'll explain the organ aspect right now. So if you move over here, come on over here. That second piece, so even if I adjust everything, not everything has a physical cause in nature. Sometimes things are nutritional or toxic in nature. And the reason, the nerdy neurology behind that is called the viscerosomatic reflux. So viscera meaning organs, somatic meaning like more bones, muscles, things like that. So it's how the organ reflexes and, and actually shows up as physical pain. Everyone understands this one. The simple one is that when you get a heart attack, does it hurt in your heart? No. It hurts in your shoulder, down your left arm, and, and up into this area. Does that make sense? So you have a heart issue that's reflexively, viscerosomatically hurting in this area. If you just adjusted the shoulder and someone is having a heart issue, you'd be in trouble because that's not the root cause. So we do have to pay attention to this. And the cool part about the body is that each part of the spine where those nerves come out go to different organs. So say you had an issue in the upper back. Those nerves that come out of there, they go to the heart and they go to the lungs. So I would ask someone with a dysfunction there, hey, are you having any shortness of breath? Are you having any palpitations? Um, trouble getting up the stairs without being winded? You know, any bronchitis or asthma, things like that. Does that make sense? Whereas if someone with a low back issue, these nerves come out, they branch off, they go to the large intestine, they go to the ovaries or the testicles in men. And so I would ask, hey, are you having any constipation or digestive upset? Because those nerves from here come from the low back. So that's how we start tying them together. Now, of course, the biggest one in the room, which is stress. This is the nerdy stress chart. It shows that every organ has an emotional or a, a stress component to it. So the body is very metaphorical. When someone comes in with neck pain, the metaphor for the mind-body, if it's truly an emotional issue, will be who's a pain in your neck. The body sends really funny metaphors. So like back pain, who's a pain in your ASS? Uh, foot pain, what are you having trouble moving forward in life, right? Hand pain, what are you having trouble letting go? Elbow pain, what are you having trouble juggling? There, there's all these metaphors that are built into the body because there's a road map. The body doesn't just leave you into this world and say, oh, screw you, there's no road map on how to get well. The body really wants to give you these clues. It gives you symptoms and it gives you different um, presentations. And so when you unpack them with the triangle approach, you're looking at the body structurally, getting the bones and muscles and figuring out which ones you need to, to rehab, strengthen, and align. 
And then you also have organ issues, so you can look at different nutritional things or herbs. And then you also have stress things, so you, you know what you need to heal, let go, forgive, etc. So that's basically the triune approach to healing pain and dysfunction. And I'd love for you, if you're, if you're interested in, to call our office at 508-810-0220. And hope you have an awesome day. Take care.